What is up YouTube? All right, so I'm gonna try to make this video short, but no guarantees. All right, so this is just gonna be an update video of what's going on around here. First on the list is I have the Batrium working. I know, it only took me like a year to do it, but it is working. I don't know how well, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do some of the install videos because, I mean, I recorded a lot of it, you know, right after I got the Batrium and then I blew up the Watchmon. So I have like video from then and then video from now and it, it just doesn't like, it just doesn't go together. So I'm, I don't know how that video is gonna work out if I do that video at all. But like I was saying in a previous video, I had all the packs out here on my workbench and I did do kind of a install video of how to hook it all up and and get it all working basically i did do that video and that should be out here in the next couple of days yeah so i might just stick with that and then i will probably just do a video on the power rack of how it all looks right now or something i'm not quite sure yet but if you want to see the freaking chart that everybody likes to see i can show you that at least boom all right, so yeah, still not quite sure why I say boom, but I do. All right, so yeah, I've only got 14 packs, so there is 14 blue bars there. Right now the pack is 52.84 volts right at the shunt, and each pack is anywhere from 3.77 to 3.78 volts. I would say that is extremely good. I'm not using it at this current moment because we just had some snow and the solar panels are covered. I just haven't had a chance to get up there and clean off the snow and I'm, I would imagine there's ice up there so I'll have to grab my trusty license plate again to scrape it off. But other than that, this BMS is freaking amazing. So this laptop is what I use to basically walk by and randomly look at it during the daytime if we have sun. And this is also the one that has the MPP tracker software on it for the charge controller right back there. And of course down here you got all the packs and the Longmons back there doing absolutely nothing right now. They're being a little lazy. And I put the Watchmon right down here. I still have to kind of organize a little bit of the wiring and stuff like that. I haven't done anything with this board yet, but I plan to possibly do something with him. I don't know exactly all the stuff that I can do with him yet, but that'll be later on down the road for now. I have it mounted to just a metal plate that I found and it's kind of at a small angle. And I've actually got this plate held on to the shelf right here with magnets. That way if I do have to do any sort of maintenance or whatever, if I have to remove it for some reason, I can just pull this out real easily and of course pull off the sides if I need to pull the boards out. I have a little converter board right on the back. I forget what the actual real name of it is, but my Longmon plugs plug into the converter board back there and then I ran a smaller wire up to the front right here. These are the wires that I swapped around last time and blew up the Watchmon. <laughs> Luckily I got it right this time. Just kidding. Alright, so yeah, so what I was saying before is whenever I first got the Batrium and I was doing all the videos for installing it all, I don't know, just the, the video quality for hooking up the shunt wires and stuff, some of it's good, some of it's bad, but it just doesn't go with the new video that I started to try to finish the videos. It just doesn't go very well so I might scrap those videos the last video where I hook up this this wiring and stuff and maybe I'll just go over some of the stuff that I did do if somebody was interested in what I did do or something like that but we'll figure that out later like I was saying is I put everything out on the workbench and recorded everything being hooked up and installing the software and all that kind of stuff so everybody at least has an idea of how all of it gets hooked up together in one video versus you know the three or four that I planned on doing so we'll I don't know we'll see how it goes and for the past week or so I had to take everything down and off the walls and all that kind of fun stuff because the wife 
I've painted the walls down here and some of that duct work that's above the TV on the wall over there. So that was fun. I don't know if you saw any of my pictures from Instagram, but if not, I'll go ahead and throw it in here now. Yeah, so I pretty much had stuff everywhere, so everything is nice and clean, at least for the moment. I'm still doing a little bit of rearranging and stuff on the wall right over there, and I still got to do a little bit of stuff underneath the table as well. I do have my little 18650 TP4056 charger down there. Still got to put that up. I've been getting a lot of use out of the 18650 awesomest battery charging thingy, but I need to open up some more packs so I can get some more use out of it before I send it off to the next person. I got my my Hello Kitty apron right here. I don't know if that's gonna stay there or not, but we'll see. I also cleaned off this little drawer right here and I put some cork board back there for something. I'm not sure quite yet, but I think I'm gonna put stuff on this shelf right here for maybe like upcoming video projects or whatever. This box is gonna take me a little bit of video to to make, but I think there's some pretty cool stuff in this box. You guys hopefully will like it. I guess we'll see. Um, actually, there is um, Joe, and he actually goes by Average Joe. He does a lot of like Amazon reviews. All right, so like, uh, actually, it's been a little bit longer than I would have liked, but okay, so whenever I went right over the 10,000 subscriber mark, of course, he put a comment below that video to win the free Average Joe t shirt saying that he does the Amazon stuff and that's his name on there but his real name is Joe just like mine anyway you know I said you know good luck or whatever so I checked out his channel and I was his 100th subscriber and since I was his 100th subscriber he did a giveaway he sent me a box which is right here I had planned on doing a whole video on that only because because I think he says um and 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 stuff just as much as I do. And I was gonna do a whole video of that. I was actually gonna copy his video and do all the ands and ums, but it has taken forever for me to actually open it. So I'm gonna open it right here in just a minute. His channel is based off of ham radio and other things electronic. So if you're a hamsky or a hamster, uh, it's probably not a correct terminology, but if if you are a ham radio enthusiast, go over to his channel. I will leave a link in the description. And his channel name is, I'm gonna have to look on the computer because it's letters and numbers in a certain order and I'll forget. KK4PYN. And I believe that is his ham radio name. All right, so enough of that. If you wanna go over to his channel and check out what he's got going on, check out the link below. I'm gonna grab this box and let's open it up and see what I got for my first, first YouTube like giveaway winning for me. I've never won anything off of YouTube. This is my first, this is my first one. So we're gonna see what we got. And it came in a small flat rate box. So let's open it up and see what we got. Well, we got a wall wart, five volt, one amp. Oh, there's a note in there. Look at that, it even says a note. All right, so we got some wires here. Hell yes, man. Hell yes. All right, so I've been wanting to get one of these and I just never pulled the trigger to buy one because I just never did. But it is One, two, three, four, five. a six, 18650 battery bank. Awesome, hell yeah. All right, so I'm guessing these are just the power wires and whatnot and the wall wart to charge it all up. Hell yeah. All right, so the input is five volts at one amp or maybe 2.1 amps. And the output at the USB is five volt and 2000 milliamps. It also has, okay, a DC out, which is 3.6 volts at 2.5 amps. And there's also, okay, there's a little switch right on the side. So you can change it from three, five, six, nine, and 12 volt. So this is actually gonna 
be awesome. So, all right, so you know my little janky camera battery that I made. Actually, I wonder if I can use this for that. Unless my, I might be able to do it. I might be able to do the nine volt setting, 1.1 amp. So I will try this out here, hopefully in the next couple of days. And I'll give you an update on that. All right, so let me read the note here. All right, so a note says, uh oh, he's got chicken scratch like I've got. All right, so I'm gonna read this out loud. Joe, check out the brand on the AC adapter. Triumph way. You could use a two or three amp charger if you wanted. I hope I have 10,000 subs one day. Feel free to, I'm not sure what that word is. Feel free to something this stuff in a video that word is throwing me off all right make sure you use matched branded 18650s in the power bank duh all right have fun merry christmas joe all right there it is again kkp4yn thank you joe average joe on amazon i hope you do get 10,000 subscribers one day because it's pretty awesome. I never thought I would reach 10,000 subscribers and I did. So I think any average Joe can do it. All right, so thank you very, very much, Joe. I mean, I'm glad I didn't pull the trigger on buying one of these because I was your 100th subscriber and I won your 100th subscriber giveaway that I didn't even know you were going to have. That was pretty awesome. All right, so everybody check out Joe's channel if you are interested in any of the ham radio or other electronic stuff. All right, so like I was saying, I'm going to use this little shelf right here for maybe upcoming videos or projects or something like that and guess what boom right there so i also have um actually junior the one that makes my average joe t-shirts he sent me some of these 3S cables so I can use them in the XTAR Dragon VP4 Plus charger because it's got that 3S charger on the back. All right, so that is going over there as well. All right, so I'm sure there's something else that I am forgetting. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so since this whole crypto mining thing is just huge and everybody and their mom is doing it, I figured I might as well jump on the bandwagon, right? All right, so I am going to start mining. I did order a card. It's not a big card. It's not a fast card or anything like that. It is a four gig card because it was cheaper than... Those damn cards are expensive. You freaking miners out there need to quit mining so I can buy some video cards and then you can start mining again. All right, so I bought a gigabyte, four gig. It is an RX 560. Now, before you start yelling at me and saying, why the hell did you buy that card? Well, it's cheap. So I don't have a whole lot of money because, you know, well, I just don't have a lot of money. So I figured if I can start small, maybe I can get a couple of these cards, you know, over a little bit of time and build a mining rig. I might be able to make a little bit of money. And then once I make a little bit of money, maybe I can start getting some bigger cards. So yeah, I am going to build a mining rig i'm gonna start with a cheap computer that i have back here and i'm gonna put the card in it and see what it does so that should be here hopefully like hopefully tomorrow and then i'll put it together and see what i get all right so that's all of my updates right now oh of course we're we're, we're busy at work of course so i haven't been able to do anything other than kind of clean up my horde mess down here and that's about it i have not done any other filming taped anything in the past week or so other than the the batrium stuff and the last update and whatnot and let's see oh oh okay so i'm gonna be doing live streams every friday night i'm gonna try to keep them to an hour no more than two hours but later Lately, it's been going for two hours because I can randomly talk about pretty much nothing. But if you want to come and hang out on a Friday night and do whatever you're doing and listen to me talk about nothing, Friday nights, one o'clock. And we'll see you on the next one. This video nice and short, but and and um, 
um, the, and, um, um, of course he, uh, and so he, he sent me a box, which is right here. Can you see that? And, uh, so it put it, it all right. So, uh, um, uh, and, um, um, I, you thought I was going to say blue balls, didn't you? 